Welcome to the family road trip. You are called onto a fun adventure with God, following Jesus, and not just by yourself, but with some very fun friends and family all around you. In our episode, we met a very fun family. Well, they're kind of fun right now. They're not really getting along so well. It's a brother and a sister and another brother, Rex, Ava and Chase Road are ready for the road trip, and they don't actually really want to go on this road trip together, but their grandma Gigi has invited them and said, if you go on this road trip together, I will give you my fortune. So it looks like they are heading on a road trip together. On the road trip of life, it makes a lot of sense that sometimes our choices can take us in one direction or our thoughts can take us in another direction. If you wanna go all the way to Disney World, you can't go in the opposite direction on the opposite road and hope to show up. A road will always take you somewhere special. And God wants you to be on a road that takes you closer and closer to Him. In the book of Mark chapter one, we see a very special messenger. His name was John the Baptist and God asked him to announce to the world that Jesus is coming. And so he did, he would shout out in the wilderness and he would say, clear the road, prepare the way. He was quoting the prophet Isaiah and he would say, clear out the highway, clear out the road, get ready because the coming of the Lord is right now. It would say, hurry up and fill in the gaps and, and smooth out the hills and, and, and clear everything out so that you can have a good relationship with God. And you see, the thing is, as much as he would shout, as excited as he was, he could shout and shout, clear the road, clear the road, clear the road. But God knew we couldn't clear the road all by ourselves. We kind of make a mess at times. In fact, for thousands of years, God's people had not been on the right road following the Lord. In fact, all the way back to the Garden of Eden, we see bad choices. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God, it was like roadblocks of sin entered the world where they had a clear road before. Now, all of their hurt, their disobedience, their bad choices, it was blocking them from God. They weren't following God anymore. And that can happen to us. We might have lots of hurt or anger in our life and that can block our relationship with the Lord. We might have suffering or pain, oh, and it feels like everything about life starts to get so blocked up that we don't know how to reach out to Jesus. Life can feel messy sometimes. And as much as the, the great prophets would have announced and shouted, clear the road, we couldn't do it by ourselves. We needed Jesus. So when Jesus came to the earth, Jesus knew that he would die on a cross. In fact, in John chapter one, verse 29, John the Baptist says, look, there is the savior. He is the lamb who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus was not in trouble when he died on the cross. Jesus was not the victim. Jesus was not caught in a bad situation. Jesus chose to clear the path. When Jesus died on the cross, he paid for your sins and cleared it away. He paid for all of the problems and cleared it away. Jesus died on the cross and made the road so clear so that it wasn't about our works anymore. He gave us grace so we could have a clear road and follow him. The only way to have a beautiful, fun life is to truly follow Jesus. Following Jesus is fun. Sin is not fun. Sadness is not fun. Anger is not fun. Following Jesus is very fun. And he cleared the path. He paved the way so you could be on the road with Jesus, so that you could follow him. He is at the end of the road. He is at the beginning of the road. He is on the road right there with you. He is the road. Jesus says, follow me. Keep your eyes on me and you will see the wonders of God in such a special way. I believe that you can have a lot of fun following Jesus as well. Let's go ahead and pray. And I want to invite you to follow Jesus today. Would you go ahead and stretch out your hands and bow your head. Close your eyes and be very still. 
I wanna ask you to pray with me. I hope this is the prayer of your heart. Say, dear Jesus, I follow you. I receive your grace from the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me new life. In Jesus' name, amen. Following Jesus is a lot of fun.